Grace and You cooking show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. <laughs> and welcome back. <laughs> and uh, we're a little giddy for this recipe. I don't know uh, if it's a fish, maybe it's a carrot. We won't say which one it is. But of course, uh, we want to say thank you for tuning in. And we're jumping right into our recipe segment with Grace and you. And we have resident chef, Chef Dwayne. Morning, morning, Belize. And uh, we also have with us Tricia Gideon, who is, of course, a representative of the Ministry of Trade, uh, working specifically with CARICOM relations. And we're continuing our CARICOM week, right? Yes, so CARICOM week is May 2nd to May 6th, but leading up to that, we're doing recipes That's from around right. the region. Mm -hmm. Right, and um, this, this is very easy, guys. You know, we're going to do some uh, seasoned rice, mm. which is... Um, we call it the curry yellow rice. Everybody believes no yellow rice, but they up it, they up it, and add different stuff to it. Mm -hmm. All right, that's this is, right. This is one of the go-to rice, like I was saying, in weddings and stuff like that, right? Well, and of course, we didn't say we're featuring. Mm How's -hmm. your geography? <laughs> I wonder if people at home have figured it out yet. What's going on in the background? I don't know. We're featuring Antigua. And, and Barbuda, Barbuda, that's right. Yes. Uh, so we're uh, tapping into the recipes that our Caribbean brothers and mm -hmm. sisters enjoy. Mm -hmm. And as you pointed out, this is like our turkey dinner. This right, is right. It's the wedding the food. Wedding food. Wedding food. Um, I, we could do a lot more with this, um, mm -hmm. but timing doesn't permit this. Um, it's just the curry rice. This is what they curry. You know, we we go both time with the barbecue. They always have this special mm -hmm. rice with them, right? So if it's stewed chicken, you. You'll get this with stewed chicken, you won't get it with rice and beans, how we, you, you know. And they use um, black eyed peas instead, they use it a lot. Oh. Right, we'll add to that on the side. Alright, and um, let's jump right into this. Sure. So, this is a pre, you, you pre make your rice before. Okay. You so got your leftover rice. So, we have the rice, right. and you add it. It's just, just curry powder. It's just curry powder and um, coconut. Coconut. Mm hmm. Um, what Grace does now is this little pack, right? Mm -hmm. It's much uh, convenient. You know, you don't want to open that. You don't want to buy that big stuff. So, mm -hmm. so know, there's a smaller there's pack a smaller of it. There's pack. a bigger one there's they bigger, used to right. use, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. you had and to do exactly bigger, this that exactly. you said. You had to save it save and that. fold it and put your clothespin. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and now you have the smaller. It's one. very nifty. It's Ew. very nifty. All right. And um, they have seasonal stuff. What they're they're big on sailing. We did a little. Yes, we're oh, watching you guys are doing, doing your doing research. Yeah, Let me hear. Yeah, mentioned that there's a um, sailing competition um, in May. There's sailing competition mm -hmm. going so on right now. So it's something from uh, only from the region, but also from Europe. People mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. and this big race in Antigua, mm -hmm. Barbuda. So mm -hmm. I told him he has to do one in a, a boat one day. That would That's be right. <laughs> that'd be rock and roll, right? I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> we have our roll. young sailors who can take us out there oh, as well. Oh yes, yes. Those yeah. guys, they're big on sailing, man. I was watching the the. They have parties before and parties in between and parties after, and the mm. food the spread there is mm, is real nice, real mm. different mm. different kinds of food. So we have this rice is already made, right? It's just okay. your basic curry, you know, your little coconut, your coconut milk, your coconut oil. Mm -hmm. um, we're using the grace curry grace powder. curry powder. This has spice in it already. So it's a spicy curry. It's a spicy curry. You can right? get one with less spice or just curry. I think they got the curry too, less okay. spice and and um. And the spicy. And the spicy. We were Belize and we like. We, we, I like yeah. spicy. We're, 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 we're up there. <laughs> I have a friend who actually goes up wrong with this in her purse, but we'll get to that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and curry and everything, wow. right? I believe some of them in Antigua, that's how they roll also. Mm. All right? Okay, good. So um, let me just put this on the side. This is already made, remember? Okay. All right, so but what we'll do with this, we'll up it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see caribs, so you gotta tell us what's happening with that carib. <laughs> yeah, what's Too early my, for a beer what's in to my drink coffee? a right, beer, right. yeah. No, you're having coffee, mm -hmm. don't I? What's in the coffee? <laughs> what's in the coffee, chef? Alright. So we're gonna add a little we're gonna up this a little bit, right? Okay. Okay. A little just to coat the bottom of the frying pan. Alright? Mm -hmm. About that. Because remember this is already has an oil in there. Okay. Alright. The longer version will be you go down to market and you get your onions and you get your potatoes and you get your uh, string beans and carrot and all that stuff. But uh, our Convenience good, in a good friend, our go-to go -to friend, right? Mm -hmm. um, let me just dump that out here. 
I, I use the water okay. to carry on with, with the, the rice. rice. Oh. Right. All right. So you get that nice and hot. Now, Tracy, of course, uh, you've been partnering with Grace to be able to help to feature the Caribbean recipes, and it's leading up to Caricom Week. Let's just talk about uh, why it's important for Belizeans to know a bit more about what's happening or what the favorites are in, in other Caribbean countries. Well, mostly at trade, we promote trade, but what we realize is that not everybody interested in necessarily sending a product to another Caribbean country, mm -hmm. but there's so many other aspects of the Caribbean, right. and one of the things that I enjoy most is food. Mm -hmm. And we share a lot in common, like the rice I was telling the chef this morning, that you know, rice is something that bonds us across the region, mm -hmm. and it also encourages us to open up a little to different ideas, different ways of what people are doing, find the similarities, find the differences, but yeah. enjoy the cultural difference. So mm -hmm. we want to show people that CARICOM is not only about one aspect of trade, but it's a diversity of things. Yeah. There All right, we go. so we have this pre-cooked vegetables, some celery, yeah, mm -hmm. there's everything in there, and there, Grace has touched everything. <laughs> I added some cilantro for some fresh, okay. some fresh pungent flavor, right? That's gonna go a little bit more. Remember, this is already cooked, right? Mm -hmm. Then if you want, now this is a little surprise. This is something here. This is the kicker. This is, is a kicker. This is a raisins. reason. <laughs> right? A reason we're, to we're, have season, right? right. <laughs> we put the reason in for the seasoning. All right? All right? People go like raisin, right? Ray, I know. Everybody says Everybody go like raisin, raisin right? Mm -hmm. this, this but is, you know. No, I'm just saying, this is the reason why, you know, making food to around the region is so good because you always go find ingredients. And that's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just don't mix it like mm -hmm, we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is raisins? Uh, what are raisins doing raisin in there? Exactly. Um, making it nice. <laughs> making it nice because you have the curry. You have yeah. the little spicy curry. Yeah. And you got the sweetness from the raisin. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, what I found out too, they do a lot of vegetable, a uh, lot of fruits in their food. Mm -hmm. So if they're doing like a stew chicken, there's one with a pineapple and um, different fruits in the, in the, um, curry when they're doing it yeah the, uh, sorry the curry curry chicken they will add banana and the sweetness from the banana and uh, the curry goes straight into the banana so you won't it's it's very nice that's that's one of the dishes i i, I took from them it's very you know, nice i guess it's a caribbean thing we mm. like a little bit of sweet, sweet right. or spicy just like how we like our fried plantain i was with, gonna say yeah but or, they put the banana directly into the curry or a festival and jerk chicken and, mm -hmm. there you that's go. sweet and that's sweet, spicy right. So we're on a good Let me track. see what else we can come up with. Oh, doubles? Doubles. <laughs> like sweet camera <laughs> time. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can see some people coming on the set making doubles again for okay. us, right? Okay. Good. So what we could do, you want to, you could add, that, that's add it, right? Yes, oh, you yes. just add it to the rice. Right. Oh. Right. See, everything is nice and stir fry. Like, um, do you want to yeah. put all the rice in? As much as you could, as much as you want, you know? Okay. So this is a spiced up curry rice. Right. With... The reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what else do we know about Antigua and Barbuda other than the partying between the sailing day? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, I have to stick to the uh, curb. The <laughs> I think they, they brought their own beer also, uh -huh. so Commonwealth. Uh, well, for us, I only know the trade aspect of, of yeah, Antigua, good. and in terms of you know, they are representative more of the services sector because of such a great tourism sector so they represent for us um, that they're the lead in services and and to um, show us they organize the meetings around that how to oh. develop the different tourism sectors oops I did throw it right that's a that's a good one we it smells good yes, yes. I it's actually amazing. smell the reasons Raisin. there I don't you go. know uh -huh. how to feel about that uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. but remember I said when they're doing this they're they're adding shrimp they're adding pork they're okay. adding so it's, it's a big meal and a big pot. They call, the pot will just come and sit on the table. Mm. And, and, they, and, they, and that's the way they start their, their festivals. Hard work. Hard work. I know. Yeah. All right. So this is You're done. You're so chef. This is finished. That's done? That's done. Go ahead, put right. that down we'll there. Just that right on there, right? So on the, um, yeah, on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, can I pause? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're moving into our shrimp. Uh, the camp, I'm the, into our fish. The pescado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a, uh, this one is, um, I don't know, the English, the influences over at Barbuda, mm -hmm. right? And um, 
Fish and chips is very English. So I guess this is where mm -hmm. that crossed over part, right? Yeah. All right. And uh, we're gonna not so, make not regular fish, fish and, and chips. chips. We're gonna no. make carib That's right. battered That's fish right. and chips. Well, not the chips. Not just the, the chips, fish. right? So we gotta get the oil heated up. Going, uh huh. Because this is deep fried. This is deep fried. Uh, man, actually, doing back with um, Barbuda again, they use a lot of shark. Mm. So we go for fillet, fillet snapper and stuff. They go for shark, mm -hmm. and shark is one of the one of the main thing for them. Yeah. Uh, so they call it shark and fish. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're we won't we won't go. We're to, not using. Right. What you're trying to say <laughs> is that we're not using, using shark. shark. Right. We're using. What kind of fish? We're using, um, this is a white fillet. Okay. Okay. This is very easy. A lot of guys uh, ask to do, the, uh, ask when they see me, Dwayne, how you make that fish and chips? How you do that butter? Mm -hmm. How you make that thing so nice and light? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, you're going to tell us your secret? Yes, now? man. It's very easy. There you go. Brought to you by Grace. Kitchen approved. Okay. All right. So you got your oil going there. We got some flour. Some flour. All right. Okay, and this batter stays with you the longer it stays. It stays. In, you could hold it for like two weeks. In the fridge. This butter in your fridge. Everything you work with is chill. Why chill? Because the the chemical process with uh, beer and flour just chill it and okay. it, it it pops right. Okay. So so we make our butter. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna season this with a little bit of uh, the Malher Camarón. Right? That's the, the seafood that's one. That's the seafood, right. See, they, they guys, they touch everything. My fingernails. I know. <laughs> okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Do the easier way. The, um, All right. You smell that? That is seafoody. Mm -hmm. seafood it is. Seafoody. Yeah. I had made Uncooked it Uncooked seafoody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, just a little sprinkle. All right? You want to season the flour first. Okay. All right. Season the flour, and just to make it goes, just to make it blend together, I'm going back to my um, curry. Curry. Oh. oh. You're right. Is that something that they normally do, or is it just like a um, just to add more flavoring to it? They, to add more flavor, but they they use a lot of arrowroot. Mm -hmm. All right. Arrowroot um, spices. They they high on spices. All right. Okay. So we toss that wrong a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, to the part. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna go, we're gonna add beer. You're gonna add beer to the batter. Beer to the batter. Okay. Use water. Um, preferably ice cold, chilled water. Same as the beer, but we'll we'll get it. We'll figure it out. And carib there. The, like I said, they bring their own beer. Commonwealth yeah. mm -hmm. Carib beer. It's, it's been around, it's been all over the place. Trinidad, Jamaica, you name it. Carib is right there. Uh -huh. Alright, the beer of the Caribbeans. That's right. Alright. Carib Hence, is from St. Kitts. I thought it's from Trinidad. I think it's a Trini. Alright. Mm, so you got you got product that. Product of St. Kitts, Kitts and Nevis. Alright, so you got that um, foaming there already, right? So we don't need any eggs for you this. This is no, the first thing no, I want to no, know. No. You're just no this eggs. is gonna be a liquid batter that you can Right. Okay. Right. Alright. And um there's a whisk. I have that right here. Uh-huh. Okay. And you wanna bring this. You could make this like a little half an hour before, pop it in your fridge, you know. The texture you're looking for. I smell it, that beer. Oh man. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. Alright, so but um, you're not whisking too hard, right, but you're gently gen mixing. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you right. want to keep the light. The light, right. See what happened here? You could go ahead and let's put some more in there because you want a nice, uh, not paste-like, right? More liquid. Right. More liquid, soft. Mm -hmm. Soft, I'm talking about, if you know what tempura, tempura is, it's very light. You don't want a heavy, heavy, you know, all right? So are you saying a part of the secret is in how you it's, mix it? Right. And the, the way you treat it, you put it up. Alright? Okay, to get that so delicate. Yeah, 
it's because it's beer. Oh, oh you're more <laughs> delicate with yeah, beer. All right, beer. we got it, we got it. It's more, it's more beer. It's responsibility. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> Responsible use of your beer. Oh, that's there right. you go. Now, Tricia, <laughs> let's talk about what people can expect as Caracom Week actually gets closer. It's going to be the first week in May. Yeah. Uh huh. So, um, we're not only doing food, but we are also doing a poetry competition. Mm -hmm. It's at Sit and Sip. Okay. Uh, and during the night from 7 o'clock. And they'll, you know, different people will be presenting poetry from Caricom. So the theme is, what does Caricom mean to you? Mm -hmm. um, there's also a beer and food mixer on the Friday, oh. May uh, 5th, at Balloon Bar. There and we're go. going to there, have mm -hmm. the Panerific Steel Band playing uh -huh. there as well. So that should be exciting. And then we have some restaurants who are assisting, like Wingstop in Belmopan. Mm -hmm. And during that day, they'll have specials on their food and um, Caricom beers. Mm. So we're excited about that. And then Saturday, I think I'm, I'm excited about this one a little bit more. Uh -huh. It's an art competition uh -huh. and so we're getting 10 artists to come and paint what Caracom means to them mm -hmm. and there'll be cash prizes there for okay. first, second and third prize. So it should be good. It'll be Dong Tong between mm -hmm. Brodies and Bang, that opening area. Okay. The part. So um, it'll be really good. And it's going to be live art? Yes, live. Oh nice. Uh, so that'll yeah, be May 6th? May, May 6th and uh -huh. it's in the morning to the afternoon so it starts about 10 to about 3. Mm -hmm. So makes sense. Okay, there you go. That's your full lineup for Caricom Week as it closely approaches. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means we have at least one more Caricom recipe that we're going to get, right? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes definitely. Yes. definitely. <laughs> well, we'll the continue these to show even after Caricom Week. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yes, okay. exactly. Um, Lots of opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so you finish your batter. The batter. You see how uh, silky that is? Yes. And you could te you test by just the, the drop test. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, it's, it's still on there. See, there's okay. some still on there, not dropping off yet. Mm -hmm. And that's excellent, right? So what you want to do is make this a day before, okay. or a half an hour before. Put it in your fridge. Um, this can go, if you have broccoli, you have cauliflower, and you, you boil it, and you, temp, you put it in here, and you fry it also, which is excellent. It's a nice side, okay. right? Okay. And, um, Fried broccoli. And mm. you got fish, you got shrimp, you got mm -hmm. conch. Okay. Right? It's the same thing you use. I know. Right? And this was just flour and beer. And beer. And curry. Flour and okay. beer. No baking powder. Okay. All right? Because the the beer, the um, factor stays in and it, it takes up this place for the uh, baking powder, right? So ideally what you want to do with this is chill it chill for it. a while before right. you use before it. You use before you use it. It works better. It, it's faster in the oil. It just hits the oil and it just... All right. Up. But All right. today we do the shortcut. We do the shortcut, right. So if you're doing it at home, one, you'll use cold beer. Right. And two, you'll put your batter to mm -hmm. chill for mm -hmm. a while. All right. So we got this nice fish. Uh -huh. Right? What, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll dry this off. Right? Mm -hmm. There's a little steps that helps a lot. All right? We dry this off because you don't want it to be the the you want the batter to adhere to the fish, right? Okay. But um, and so if the fish is dry, uh, that's easier. It's easier, right? Okay. But then another little trick is I do flour because yeah. we have it here already. Um, you you could use a uh, cornstarch. Okay. Right. Right. Well, this will be a uh, seasoned flour mm -hmm. if you have some seasoned flour. Right. Remember, we already put the consume in the batter okay right you don't want to overpower the fish you want that you want the flavor coming out okay so I won't even you know salt or black pepper everything is in here mm -hmm. all right and the longer this stays it releases the oil from um, all the seasoning all right remember when you're frying uh, battered stuff you want to coat it coat it very good with um, the flour okay all right if you have cornstarch excellent cornstarch what actually does it makes makes it crispier but then it takes a little more process to get through the fish right mm. all right so that's floured enough uh -huh. that's good so i'm just gonna you could throw Is the oil hot enough that's good uh-huh um and it's very easy all right is it on I'll put it on so that I'll, I'll pick up some more heat. I just wanted to it cool down. Hot. It was it was too hot. Yeah. <laughs> These chef tricks that we don't know. That's why we end up with uh, greasy fried stuff exactly. right. or burned fried stuff. Temperature control is very easy. Yeah. Wow. You have a little piece. You dip it That's off. You good. put it on the side to know that, hey, you know, mm. right? 
I like that the curry makes it so yellow. Oh mm. yes, one hand, one hand clean, one hand dirty. <laughs> Always keep it going like that. You never know emergencies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or or as we say, in Kong, one wet, one dry. Okay. All right. So you want to. Also, this if you have it, you put it in your fridge. Also, mm -hmm. all right. So let's see what we have. All right. Mm. You can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your test. Okay. All right. That's Is that we'll good have enough? To. Let's get some more heat. Let's start. Okay. All wow. right. So that's your test right there. Very easy. So what do you want to see? Um, as you hit it, it should pop right up. Okay, so it took a little while right. to come up, so we because, want to. Uh -huh, what will happen if I put this in there and it sits in there, it starts soaking the oil. Oh, okay. All right. And you just want to cook. Oh. Mm -hmm. You just want it to cook. You don't yes, want it to be. Yes, yes, because it's fillet. It's very light. It's very light. Mm, right. I love how you talk about your food. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened That's in the last right. fried jack. <laughs> Oh yeah, the fry jack never swim. You want your fry jack to swim real nice and light. As you drop your fry jack in, you wipe. Pop right, right up. You have a spoon, you dip and you baste it. Alright? Okay. Temperature control. Mm -hmm. Depends on how thick your fillet is too. Right? Okay. So let's go ease. Alright. Alright. Let's do another one. Okay? I think we can fit two. Yeah. Let's do three. As I know. All right. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening in there. I like that it's so yellow. Yes. Yes. Yellow beer. Yellow beer. You cook with that's colors. Also you your cook, curry. That's right. You cook with flavor. All right. So you help it. You make it graduate, right? This is standing back. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hot oil. Yeah, what's in the coffee? <laughs> 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 Alright, see we got that puffiness. Mm -hmm. you know, let me just flip that over. Look at that. Ah, the shark would have come perfect. But we'll here. We're here in Belize. <laughs> we never gonna hold chan. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have environmentalists at yes, your car by the yes, time you leave. Yes. And 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 that's it. Now with this. They do a shark sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's the same process. Um, the same process as shark, but they put it in bread. Yeah. And how we go for how we go for tacos and things yep. like that on the street side, yeah. you have shark sandwich all over the place. Uh -uh. They start from breakfast. Yeah. And they go to the whole day shark sandwich, or they put it in a fry jack. Yeah. They do it in a fry jack with the shark. Yeah, in Trinidad it's shark and bake. Shark and bake. That you get at the beach. What's the name of it? Mar Mar Is it maracas? Mar uh -huh. Mar shark and bake. It's very simple. Yeah. Right. With tons um, of sauces. Uh -huh. That's like the appeal. You just try to figure out which sauce you want right. or you like. Uh -huh. or Pick the one in the bottle without the label. <laughs> well, most of them seem homemade. Mm, uh -huh. <laughs> and, and that's it. Amazing. Right? You that's could, it? That's it. You okay. could go to your coloring and stuff and you know. So, All right. Let me just. Let me hold my plate. Okay. She's ready. She's ready. All right. Look how easy that is. Look how easy. I think the batter is. is really easy, and that's something right. that you gave us a lot of tips that people really didn't know, right. which is people go, you put temperature bacon, is important. Right. Um, you put baking powder? No. If you're using water, yes. Okay. All right. If you're using beer, beer you don't need baking soda. You don't baking need baking soda. soda. Uh uh. Uh uh. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. So this is dry. Come. Two, please. Two, please. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. This is oh, really nice. Easy. Simply like less than ten minutes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And and the the um the meal, you know. So now, if I'm part of the. Wedding, I also get to have it you with get, the special rice. There you go. Go ahead, plate it out and, and have it. All right. All right. Um, I guess I won't put my rice portions. I'll put the whole pot. <laughs> <laughs> put it the way people like it, with lots of rice. Lots of rice. And I didn't do it the chef way. No, we on on the street side. You just throw the you know. 
More rice? Yes, you could get more All rice. Right. More fish? Yes, you get more fish. This is why I don't work in a restaurant. That's not a very pretty plate. There you go. Very easy. Very easy. Um, a little bit more cilantro. In other places, they use the tartar sauce and all that stuff. I don't go through that because then you're masking the fish. You're masking all the mm. flavors, right? And it's, it's, I mean, cooking is very, you use your creative mind. Okay. And who would have put raisin with the rice? With curry with rice. With curry rice and uh, Caribbean, Carib beer batter fish there you go and, and it's as simple as, as that mm -hmm. Let's and it looks amazing sure like everybody restaurant. can see this nice bright yellow thank you so much for bringing yeah. another recipe mm -hmm. and from another caribbean country we learned something new definitely something you can try at home curry rice with raisins and mixed veg simple try, enough try. and that bear battered fish is definitely something that people can do mm -hmm. uh, now they know your secret they might not go buy yours there but you go <laughs> <laughs> that's your fault well, Tracy, then i'll use shark no. okay <laughs> tracy it's great having you thank you and great. of course i'm sure we're going to see you guys before that big art day uh downtown police city and mm -hmm. we'll look out for the other activities that'll be coming up as well great all right we're going to go ahead and take a break and when we come back we will continue with the rest of our show we're joined by the department of youth services after the break so stay tuned awesome thank you Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. It's delicious. Oh, Grace, I'm so anxious. Because I'm falling in love with your new product, Grace Lunch and Me. Mm. It's good for you and me, me grandpa and me granny, Grace Lunch and Me. Yes. 